How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and today's video is going to be on my Galaxy Note 8, and we're going to be showing you, once again, FRP removal, or bypass. So this method is actually really awesome, and I'm pretty sure it'll work on just about every Samsung device on the market right now, um, which is pretty huge. So the tricks of the trade here for this one is we're going to come back out of here and just back out completely once you've connected to Wi-Fi, and you're going to need something like this. This is a Bluetooth headphones or headset and it needs to have the little uh, call button which allows it to pick up a microphone okay so um what we're going to do and this is kind of interesting we're going to come into the emergency dialer and this is the part where you know we're not recommending that you do this we're just saying this is a method it's an available method um you just need to be aware when you use this method you're technically calling 911 okay it's not really a good thing i actually generally when i use this i do not have a sim card inserted in my phone um, because I don't want them calling me back. So, um, yeah. So just be aware of that. Um, you know, you know, you've been warned. Let's put it that way. Okay. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to turn on your Bluetooth device. Make sure it is not paired to any other device, any other Bluetooth device. Um, and I'm going to put it on my head so that I can listen to it. Okay. Okay, so it says it's ready to pair my, my, my Bluetooth device here. And this next part I'm going to do quietly, and then we'll explain it. So just watch carefully. So I'm going to dial 112, and this is exactly the same as dialing 911. So just be aware. So we're going to do this. Okay, so there you go. As you can see... I just hung up as quick as I possibly could on the 911 call, but I have a paired Bluetooth device. You can see it right up there in the top, and we are good. So we can go ahead and back out of this, and now I've escalated privileges into the phone. I'm going to show you how we're going to achieve this full FRP bypass. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit the little call button on my Bluetooth thing, and it's going to do a microphone command, and we'll see what we got here. So Chrome. And as you can see, it opens up this. But then what we can do is we can actually go to Chrome. So we're going to actually go to Chrome, hit Accept. And now we're running the Chrome application. Okay. So from here, this is really cool, we're going to type in my site, Root Junkie, because I put a really kind of a secret button that maybe most people don't even realize what it is. Um, and I'm going to show it to you. So you just do Root Junkie Test FRP. And it should bring you to, yes, right here, this first one, te FRP test. And the reason I labeled this web page FRP test is really for one reason, even though there's a lot more on this page right now. And the one reason I did it is because I was testing this little button right there. See that Samsung Galaxy apps? Well, that is more than just a little logo or ad. What that is, is that is a button that does this. Check it out. This launches the Galaxy App Store on your phone, okay? From the browser launches an app. That's pretty cool. That's a deep secret ingrained code um, URL that actually does it, and it's, it's kind of neat. So there you go, a little fun exclusive. So now we're going to come up in here, and we're going to type in Cal, and we're looking for the calculator application, okay? Now, some reason Samsung's not showing this is installed. I think it gets installed almost as soon as your phone connects, but it's not in there right now. So we're just going to come in here and click on it. And it's the Samsung calculator. And we're going to click install. And what we need is we need this installed so that we can do a special little uh, step with it, which is just pretty stinking cool. So once it installs, you're going to see how we're going to escalate privileges some more from the calculator. So we're going to hit open. Now we're in the calculator application and then follow along carefully and I'll put this link in the video description. So we've got this one here, 300, 120, 127, 32 star, or I should say plus. Now that opened a special dialer and in this dialer, we can use special dialer codes to access more. So now we're going to do star pound 0808 pound. Now, this is where it gets awesome. Now we've gone ahead and we've accessed USB settings, okay, on an FRP-locked phone. 
And from here, we're going to type, click this one, the very bottom one, DM plus modem plus ADB. And then I'm going to plug it into my computer here behind me. So I'm just going to flip it over like that. It's probably just a good thing to have it plugged in. And then from here, I'm going to hit the reboot button because currently it will not work with ADB until you reboot it with this setting. Okay, so I'm going to reboot it and then we're going to shoot to my computer and finish this up. Rebooting now. Beautiful. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's already giving me an ADB prompt. So hit always and hit OK. All right, perfect. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and run this command. So what we need now that we have ADB on the device and we want to remove FRP, it's really simple. I went ahead and wrote a little quick batch script. Basically what you're going to do, I'm going to link you guys to this. You just place it in your platform tools where your ADB files and your uh, fastboot file exist. So you just place it in there and then you click the batch file and it does it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click the batch file and watch this process happen. Okay. And that really should be it. At this point, you have removed FRP from the Galaxy Note 8. You can see it right there, which is stinking awesome. And um, you are good to go. We're going to let it reboot and just show you that I can now add any Google account to this device. Now, currently, the device is still FRP locked um, in download mode. So just be aware of that. But you can now add any Google account to it. And you'll just see that when we uh, load up here. There you go. Sign in with any Google account. It'll sign right in, no problem. If you want to finish and completely remove FRP 100% off the device, just go into settings here. And go to, I think it's wherever you factory reset from. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. General maintenance reset. Do a reset. Factory data reset. And now look at that. Look at that shows calculator as an account isn't that interesting see that's because we did some fancy stuff with our calculator and then hit reset and delete all user data so now at this point when it does affect your reset frp in download mode will be completely turned off and you have a hundred percent removed it you don't have to do this factory reset if you just want to add a google account at this point but this just fully does it a hundred percent off the device so it's a it's a good thing to do it can't hurt to do it so guys, that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. Like I said, again, this process is pretty much working across the board. If you want to do FRP using this method um, on Samsung devices, I think you're going to have success 80% of the time when it comes to their phones. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll link everything you're going to need in the video description down below. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Root Junkie out. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you this guys as extra credit. So here's the, the factory reset. Um, it just finished up. And I'm going to show you that I can just go right through settings. So I'm not even going to hook up to Wi-Fi or anything. I'm just going to show you that I have fully removed FRP um, and everything's good to go. Just the fact that you can sm skip the Wi-Fi screen right there actually proves that you, your, your past FRP is turned off at this point. But I'll get all the way to the home screen just for the sake of it. Let's just go ahead and do this. Basically just skipping through the setup stuff and you should be rocking it. Come on. There we go. Later. Say no to this baloney. That's T-Mobile junk. And voila. There you go. Again, now it's fully gone. It's even turned off in download mode. There you go. That's the process. Just wanted to show you the ending after the factory reset and uh yeah pretty sweet hope you guys have enjoyed the video catch ya